Hey guys, Sefer here, and welcome back to another video. Today I'm playing Walking Dead. Uh, this was taken from my live stream from Spooky Streams day like five or six or something. And um, th this game is really special to me. Uh, Walking Dead is one of my favorite games of all time, and um, I recommend you watch the whole thing through. It's a really great game if you haven't seen it before. Really give this video a chance. I think you'll really enjoy it. Do the standard mode. All right, here we go. I say as I eat a tic tac. Wow, look at that. There he is. These graphics are better than I remembered. Well, I reckon you didn't do it then. What? That's weird. Uh... Does it really matter? Nah, not much. That's now, weird. I've driven a bunch of fellas down to this prison. Lord knows how many. Usually it's about now I get the, I didn't do it. Huh. And what do you say? I say, yep, I know you didn't. <laughs> I followed your case a little bit. You being a making boy and all. You're from Macon, then. Yep. Oops. Came up to Atlanta to be a city cop in the 70s. I always wanted to work a murder case. Like that senatorial mess you got yourself mixed up in. With all due respect. A real shame, that is. Hell, the whole family used to be regulars at your folks' drugstore right in downtown. Still there? Sure is. Good. I got a nephew up at UGA. You teach there long? Going on my sixth year. You meet your wife in Athens? You want to know how I see it? Sure. <laughs> Regardless, could be you just married the wrong woman. Uh oh. Lee didn't like that. driving this man once he he was the worst one he wouldn't stop going on about how he didn't do it he was an older fella big soft eyes behind a pair of smart folk glasses and he just wailing back there says it wasn't him crying and snotting all over right where you sit then before long he starts kicking the back of the seat like like a fussy baby on an airplane not tell him he's got to stop that's government property and I'll be forced to zap him otherwise. So he stops, and having exhausted all his options, he starts crying out for his mama. Mama, it's all a big mistake. It wasn't me. 
Damn. Man? <laughs> Not even close. <laughs> they caught the fucker red-handed, stabbing his wife, cutting her up as the boys came through the door. He sits in my car screaming bloody murder that it wasn't him. I think he actually believed it himself. It goes to show, people will up and go mad when they believe their life is over. Oh, I got another good one for you. This one's a little bit oh less boy. depressing and a bit more... Zambia in the road. I do say so. This other time... Ah. I pressed W, not one. That's better. I may have a feeling it's just going to be that part that's ridiculously loud, probably. I may have to turn it down. Okay. Here come the zombies. Right, this scene. Kick, Lee, kick. There you go. You can do it. I need to drag myself out that window. You can do it. I need to drag myself uh, out that window. Use the mouse wheel. I have no idea. <laughs> Oof. Not looking good. Grab the gun, Lee. Oh boy. Officer. Gotta do a few circles before you go over there. God damn. Officer. What do I do? Oh, I don't do that. <laughs> oh, here we go. It would probably be a smart move to grab the shotgun. Yeah. Can I grab the shotgun? I can look at the shotgun. I can look at the cop. The officer's shotgun is over there. Yeah. I get it. I get it. Looks empty. Good thing you had that one round, right? It'll be easier to carry with these cuffs off. No, oh, I bet it will. Oh boy. Well, that's the shotgun show. God damn. Okay, can I. Can I. Min oh my gosh, okay. Grab the keys. Uh. Shit. Oh, you dropped him right near his face. That's unfortunate. All right, all right. There you go. There we go, we're all freed up. Officer. All right, thanks, Tricker. Oh boy, Zambi! Ah, Zambi! Yeah, yeah, I'm backing away, I'm backing away. Give me the shotgun, man. Give me the shotgun. Give me the shotgun. Shotgun. Yes, you want to reload? Reload, please. Unbelievable, Lee. Butterfingers. 
Fire! Do it! Headshot! Good job, Lee. I know you can do it. Lee didn't like that. Hey, I got an achievement. Out of the frying pan. I don't know. I don't know what I do either. Yeah, boom, headshot. I mean, that that accuracy. What do I do now? Oh, Clementine! <gasps> oh. Go get someone. There's been a shooting. I never knew that. Or, I never knew that was her standing up there. Oh my god. What? That ain't cool. Ah! Lee! Lee is so clumsy, dude. <laughs> he drops the keys, he drops the shotgun shell, and then... Another Zambo. You got this, Lee. Go! Go! Oh yeah, a fence, the zombie's one weakness. And shotgun shells to the face, of course. A distraction. Thank you, somebody, for shooting that. <laughs> we appreciate it. Wow. Pandemonium. There's Clementine up there. Uh, talk to the- You can do that? Wait. Anybody up there? Okay, apparently not. Alright, we're going around. Wonder if anybody's home. Okay, can I knock? Uh, there. You go. Hello, anybody home? I need a little help. Just a little bit, you know. He broke his leg, killed a guy, and then got chased by zombies. Just a little bit of help, guys. Just a little bit. Well, he killed the zombie anyway. Coming in. Don't shoot, okay? Hello? I'm not an intruder. Or one of them. Them. These people might need more help than I do. Look at the unicorn. Unbelievable. <laughs> I've been playing this for... Oh? Where's the phone? I know where the phone is. Okay, listen, Lee. Alright, good job. Good job. I've been playing this for 15 minutes and Lee has fallen or messed up four times already. Message two. 
left at 11.19 p.m. Oh my god, finally. I don't know if you tried to reach us. All, all the calls are getting dropped. They're not letting us leave and aren't telling us anything about Atlanta. Please, please, just leave the city and take Clementine with you back to Murrieta. I've, I've got to get back to the hospital. Please let me know that you're safe. Message 3, left at 6.51 oh a.m. Clementine, baby, if you can hear this, call the police. That's 911. We love you. We love you. We love you. That's so devastating. Once you've known what's happened throughout the whole series. Daddy? Huh? Oh god, don't slip again, Lee. Uh... Yeah, you did want water, didn't you? There you go. Alright, how do we the open cabinet? Well, that was pointless. Open drawer, what do we have here? I don't know what that is. A box of something? Okay, why am I opening drawers? I literally know what I have to do. What do I do here? Oh, here we go. Okay. Never mind. Wait, what? Oh, the walkie-talkie, that's right. Duh. Where is the walkie-talkie? Isn't that a walkie-talkie? I have, I have not played this game in so long. Oh, you know what? It's probably in one of the drawers, now that I think about it. Nothing. There we go. Hello? You need to be quiet. Are you okay? I'm okay. They tried to get me, but I'm hiding until my parents come home. <laughs> Lee's like, oh god. <laughs> I don't think they're coming home. Uh... What's your name? I'm Clementine. This is my house. Hi, Clementine. I'm Lee. Where are your parents? Yikes. They took a trip and left me with Sandra. They're in Savannah, I think. Where the boats are? Bars. Um. Are you safe? I'm outside in my treehouse. They can't get in. That's smart. See? Can you see me? I can see you through the window. <laughs> Uh-oh. Uh, Q. Boom. There it is. That scene always gets me. What do I do? There we go. Boom. Save me, Clem. I pressed E. Hammer time. Hammer time. Hammer time. Hammer time. Hammer time. Adventures in babysitting. Achievement unlocked. Man. Hi there. <laughs> Talk about traumatic experiences. Jesus Christ. Did you kill it? Uh. Yes. It's okay. I think she was a monster. Yeah, I think so too. You've been... All by yourself through this? Yeah, I want my parents to come home now. I think that might be a little while, you know? Oh, God. 
Look, I don't know what happened, but I'll look after you until then. Poor Clementine, man. What should we do now? What a mess. What a mess. All right, here's a big choice. Get out here once the sun goes down and look for help before it gets dark. I mean, that's a logical choice. Before it gets dark. Yeah, it's not safe at night. Does anyone choose night? Why Let's would go. they choose night? Stay close to me. I mean, why would you go in the night? Like, these are zombies. I mean, haven't you seen a zombie movie before? Come on. Is this in an alternate dimension where there aren't zombie movies or something? Are we moving? There we go. Can we run? No. Well, no, we can't run. Our leg is broken. Okay. This is an interesting point of view. I've never played this on PC. Oh god, these guys. Oh man. I ain't never getting home to mama at this rate. <laughs> this sucks. Well, it's hot dish night. Hot dish night. What's the matter? Should I stay? What? I don't want to sleep in the treehouse tonight, but I don't know if I should leave. What if my parents come home? I won't leave you alone. Well, let's go somewhere safe that's close, okay? That's a good idea. Solid plan, Clementine. Solid plan. Hey, man! Holy shit! Don't eat us! <laughs> We're not gonna hurt you. Yeah. Thought for a second you and the little one were both gonna give us the chomp. Do you know what the hell this is? No idea. So you've seen them then? <laughs> yeah, a little bit. You could say that. Yeah. <laughs> I'm Sean. Okay. Sean Green. Oh, Sean, wait. This is Clementine. Isn't this actually a character? I'm Chet. I don't know. Chet. We shouldn't be out in the open like this. How about you help us clear the way, and we'll take you and your daughter out of here and down to my family's farm. Yeah, it's okay, it's this guy. All right, all right. The neighbor. Her parents are out of town. Let's get going. Staying put for too long is a mistake. That's such a difficult choice, because I don't want to lie, because Clem's right here, but at the same time... Monsters coming. I don't want those guys to think I'm some creep. You know? Let's go. Push. What's this guy doing? Clet or whatever Chet or whatever his name is. He's just kinda of sitting there. Go, go, go! Drive. What do you that is loud. I apologize. Too? Oh man. In your charge. The farm. This isn't the farm, is it? No, that's a different farm. I think. Maybe not. I don't know. Hey, Sean. I'm gonna run on home. My mama's gonna be in a snip. There you go. No sweat, man. I'll catch you tomorrow night. It was nice to meet you both. <laughs> Thank God you're okay. Yeah, I remember this guy here too. Been quiet as usual the past couple days. Well, Brecken down the way thinks his mare's gone lame, but that ain't nothing new. I wouldn't have made it back without Chet. Well, I'm glad you took him with you then. You've brought a couple guests. <laughs> uh, 
Your boy's a lifesaver. Well, he could be a help to somebody. So oh. it's just you and your daughter then. Oh, not his daughter. He was her neighbor. Oh uh, boy. Do you know this man? Okay. This choice backfired. Yes. Okay then. Well, looks like you hurt your leg pretty bad there. Uh, yeah. It's not doing so good. Magnilla. I can't tell if you're being John, serious, Trigger. <laughs> You take a seat up on I, I mean, this is one of my favorite games. I love it so much. I think when you choose the neighbor thing, it backfires on you. This guy, like, catches you. Lying. Um. Uh. Uh. It hurts like hell. I bet it does. What did you say your name was? It's Lee. Nice to meet you, Lee. I'm Herschel Green. How'd this happen? Car accident. That's so. Where are you headed before the car accident? Um. Just uh, out for a drive. <laughs> Says I don't know what to say. I hate lying, but we hit a guy. One of those things you've been hearing about on the road. Why do he say we? The girl. <laughs> I don't know what to say, man. Ask you a question. You said we. All right, Herschel. Was just making conversation. Uh huh. Is full up with Herschel will definitely remember that. I messed up. You and your daughter are Yo, what's up, uh, Emerald? How you doing? I didn't catch your name, darling. Clementine. Can't imagine what you've been through, Clementine. I'm looking after her until we uh, find her parents. Hey, what's up, Solo yeah. Med? How you doing? So I'm thinking, first thing tomorrow, we gotta reinforce the fence around the farm. That doesn't seem necessary. I don't know what you saw on TV or heard on the radio, but there's some serious shit hitting the fan. I don't think anyone. <laughs> to say the least. Uh, I have that to go against right. you. I want to fortify this place. Yeah. Stuff like that doesn't happen around here, Sean. Dad, I'm serious. Lee, come on. Tell him what you saw out there, man. Um. I got chased by a couple of dead people. Now <laughs> do what you think you should. We got plenty of chores. As now we just sound like we're crazy. Maybe those folks in the barn can help out in the morning. We got to do it, really. I already said okay. Well, I'm all done here. It should start to feel better tomorrow. Thanks. If your leg gets hot oh. or the swelling doesn't go down, you're probably dealing with an infection. What do we do then? We'll probably just have to shoot you. <laughs> we'll clean it, redress it, and you'll be fine. Okay, that'd be preferable. There's blankets and stuff. Just a little bit, yeah. We'll be seeing you bright and early. Come tomorrow, which way you think you're headed? Towards making, I suppose. All right then. Ah, uh, thank you. <laughs> I appreciate it. It smells like. <laughs> you I know. Know what it smells like. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah. My mom and dad. I bet, Clem. How far is Savannah? Pretty far. Oh, okay. I don't know how far it is, frankly. All right. So yeah, just playing the first episode here. And that's that. <laughs> I don't know how long it goes for, though. I think about an hour and a half. Hey, get up. Kenny! <sighs> it's Kenny! Oh my god. I'm itchy. Well, you slept in a barn, little lady. Lucky you don't have spiders in your hair. <gasps> but I bet your daddy scared them all away, huh? I'm, uh, not her dad. Name's Lee. I'm Kenny. Dad, we're in no offense! There's a tractor and everything! Is this Duck? Is that his name? 
We better get going, or we won't get the end of it. <laughs> Isn't that his name? I can't remember. That's my boy, Ken Jr. We call him Duck, though. There you go. Dodging real quick. <laughs> yeah, nothing bothers him. Like water off a duck's back, you know? Dude, that's, that's a valuable a savage trick, choice. No kidding. But frankly, I think it's because he's dumb as a bag of hammers. Dad! Oh, uh, He makes up for it with enthusiasm. The word is you were on your way to Macon. My family's from there. Well, Macon's on the way, and personally, I'd appreciate the company of a guy who can knock a couple of heads together if he has to. I'll see what the girl would like. Ah, gotta consult the missus. <laughs> I understand. Honey, Duck, this is Lee. And, uh, what's the girl's name? Clementine. Clementine. That is a very pretty name. Thanks. I never realized well, she had an accent. We've all seen what those things I can remember do now there, so the faster we get this fence up, the better. I want to build a fence. Yeah? Well, I need a good foreman. You can sit on the tractor and yell at me whenever I take a water break. On the tractor? Cool! Check and I will hop to it. I can keep an eye on your little girl here on the porch. We can visit. All right, so I think, can we talk to Clementine? I don't, yeah, okay, let's talk to them real quick. Hey there, girls. So, uh, what do you do when corpses aren't walking around? I'm a veterinarian back in Fort Lauderdale, like Herschel here, except more with dogs and cats and uh, not horses. What is it that you do, Lee? I used to teach up at the University of Georgia. We need to hope that we can go back to our jobs soon, Lee. Back to normal. It can't stay like this. Uh, yeah, my mistake. We'll all be home soon. <laughs> How did you handle getting through the city? Kenny just drove. We passed so many people that needed help, and we just passed people. Over some, just, just... Uh, it's okay. It's fine. You don't have to say anymore. I want to go home tomorrow. But even then, I can't take away the things we... The things Doc went through. Don't you want to go back to the moment before you knew about all of this? This could all be providence, you know? Not <laughs> what we saw. You just never realize when something is happening to you, what you're being given. Maybe this will all work out. Your optimism is refreshing. New. These past couple days, at least. Gotta be optimistic. Back in a bit. Okay, Lee. Alright. Let's go help out Kenny. Hey there, uh, Kenny. So what's your family's plan? Get back on down to Lauderdale and let this mess get sorted out. Uh oh. Government will start handing out shots and the National Guard will do its thing. On the odd chance things got too bad, we could hop on my boat, I guess. <laughs> You've got a boat. I'm a commercial fisherman, catching mackerel, dolphin, whatever's biting and paying. Katya wouldn't be wild about it, but the boat's not that bad. Need any help? No, I think I got it. Do you need any help? What do you mean? I mean in taking care of that little girl. You know what you're doing? You got kids of your own? I think I've got it handled okay. As long as Could I keep right. it safe, I think I'm doing all right. With those things out there, maybe, sure, that's enough. But you gotta ask yourself if you're the type of guy who can do better than that if her parents don't show up. I'll keep that in mind. See you. We kind of just talked about his son, so I don't really feel the need to ask him how his son is doing, you know? But I will go check myself. Okay, that's that. Uh, did 
Do, uh, can I talk to him? What was his name? Sean, Sean's that's right. still working on that fence. Did he just say that out loud? <laughs> hey, Lee. Need a hand? That'd be great. If you could cut those two bites to length, that sure speed things up. My dad doesn't know how bad it is. No, he doesn't. I saw a guy in Atlanta kill a kid. A boy. Just shot him right in the face. Damn. Oh shit, damn. <laughs> he didn't even hesitate. He just turned, put the barrel of the gun right between the kid's eyes, and pulled the trigger. You don't see things like that. It's not like in the movies. They don't fall like you think. Did you have to do it? Do what? Kill. Have you had to off one yet? Oh. Uh... Sometimes, it's kill or be killed. I guess. I don't think I'd sleep good after that. No, I can't I'm imagine okay. seeing this fence. <laughs> Dad just wants to keep the family safe and thinks inviting people in is a bigger threat than whatever's out there. How about yours? How's your family? Um, uh, not too close to my family. Oh, uh, well, they weren't in Atlanta, right? So that's good. That's probably all I need cut for now. Thanks. And Sean, thanks again for the ride. No problem, Lee. Couldn't leave you behind. Thanks, anyway, Sean. When you see my dad around, <laughs> he might want some help in the barn. There you go. That's what we had to do. Okay. Well, we had to do this to get to that, so. Good. We're making good choices. But hey, we still have the walkie talkie. <laughs> okay. Let's see what Herschel is up to. You should know that if you weren't leaving with Kenny today, I wouldn't stand for your lack of honesty. Last see what I was time. talking about? I'm not sure I follow. How'd you get out of Atlanta? Oh. I was on my way out anyway. The timing of all this just happened to be right. Huh. If there ever is a good time for the supposed apocalypse. <laughs> uh, this farm's a nice plot of land. Huh. Had you told me 20 years ago I'd still be doing this, I would have told you that you were full of crap. Never was a plan having a place like this. It was in the family, and I guess so was I. Family's important. It's all that matters. You agree with that? Was brought up to, yes. Where's your family now? Parents? Wife? Girlfriend? My parents are in Macon with my brother. Well, I hope they're all right. But now you've got this little girl to take care of. Clementine, is it? You just stumbled up on her? I was being attacked and she came to my rescue. Hmm. Can I give you a piece of advice? Sure. I don't know who you are or what Let's you take do, his advice. But you better become a better liar than fast. <laughs> Let's say things don't get better back in the cities, or they get worse before they do. You're going to have to depend on the honesty of strangers if you're going to make it. And if those same people get to questioning yours, you're going to be in trouble. So whoever you are and whatever you did, keep it to your damn self. But at least you have the common sense to listen to a man giving you advice. Go! I'll get my gun! What happened? I don't remember this. Or is it Sean? Oh yeah, you have to save one of them. Which one do I save? Which one do I save? Oh boy. Big decision. Uh, obviously I'm going for duck. I mean, come on. What do I do? Oh shoot. I'm trying. I got 
Go get Sean, man. Kenny's making a run for it, dude. Oh no. Rip. Oof. This guy has some good accuracy. <laughs> Kenny comes back now. <laughs> Thanks, Kenny. I what? Uh. I thought I could help them both. Look at him. You thought wrong. And now? Please. Just go. Get out and never come back. That was a pretty uh, fast death coming into the game here. I've only been playing for like half an hour. Got that ride to make it if you want it. Oh, I want it. We're taking it. We're out of here. Although I'm pretty sure you don't have a choice. <laughs> there you go. Well, this is as far as we're going. And it's far enough. Look! Oh, great. The dialogue. Hey there! Unbelievable. Best I'm gonna get. Sorry about that. You friendly? Trucks run out of gas. <laughs> Not friendly. Oh, is this uh, Carly? I I can't remember their names. Stay shut no matter what. I fucking mean. Oh, yeah, here she I is. I don't know who these people are. It could be dangerous. She's Worse, the character from season four. To us. Where the hell is your humanity? They would have died out there. We're not dangerous. Just regular folks. What's dangerous is a bunch of people running outside and drawing their attention to us. Lee's right. We're just regular folks, but we actually like helping people. You'll have to excuse her. The hell Oof. He or anyone will. This is about survival. Do you guys not see what's happening? What is it? I... I have to pee. I'd go out there <laughs> in a second. I bet you would. I don't remember this scene. They've got kids, Lily. Those things outside don't care. Maybe you should go join them then. You'll have something in common. Oof. Damn it, Lily. You have to control these people. Uh, Carly and Glenn just ran out there. I know. <laughs> There's Clem. Fuck. Uh, We're in a war zone. She's an asshole, that's for sure. That's what it takes. <laughs> you don't have to be a bitch about it. Holy shit. Son of a bitch. One of them is bitten. He wasn't bitten. Hell, he wasn't. We have to end this now. Over my dead body. We'll dig one hole. 
Oh my god. Up, there's no fight. He's fine. Don't you fucking people get it? This We've dialogue. Seen this okay. happen. We let someone with a bite stay in, and we all end up bitten. Shut up. We gotta throw him out, or smash his head in. Kenny, stop him! Hey, what do we do about this guy? Dad, it's just a boy. It, it's... Lily, I'll handle this. But your heart, Dad. You need to calm down. We reason with him. I didn't side with Kenny. Oops. My boy. Everyone chill the fuck out. I forgot that was Kenny's personality. Up, Lily. And you shut the fuck up. They will find us and they will get in here. And none of this will fucking matter. But right now, we're about to be trapped in here with one of those things. What the hell are you talking about? He's bitten! That's how you turn! He's not bitten. Please stop this. It's upsetting him. Oh, I'm upsetting him. Upsetting is getting eaten alive. What if this was your daughter? Never would have happened. She's not some snot-nosed toddler, okay? She's United States Air Force. Fuck you and her. I'm gonna kill him, Cat. Just worry about Duck. Lee! Yeah? There's someone in there. It's just locked. Key's behind the counter. Probably. Oh, boy. Hey, I'm not the bad guy here. I'm just looking out for my daughter. No, I have a bad feeling about this. <laughs> killing a kid. He's covered in muck. She'll find the bite. Watch. She won't. And if she does, the first thing he'll do is sink his teeth into his mom's face. Then, once she's dead, he'll probably pounce on your little girl. It's a little boy. I think we can handle it. A little boy? He'll be an uncontrollable man-eater. It's not gonna happen. It is. And we're tossing them out now. Knock this guy out. Happily. Oh, Jesus. Oh, man. Kenny. <laughs> Kenny got wrecked, dude. Okay. Yeah, that's, uh... Saw that one. He trips again. Jesus, Lee. <laughs> Get the Zambi. Q Q Q. Oh, that was not gonna happen. That was a strong zombie. You okay? Nice accuracy. Just great, thanks. Everybody down. Stay quiet. Wow. <laughs> They're gonna get in. Shut up. Is that the military? Oh my gosh. Thank God for whatever it is. We almost died because of this bitch and a Richie trigger finger. That was stupid. That was. Uh, uh, Dad! Was he the one, Ben? I did try to get him to calm down. <laughs> it's his heart. Okay. Um, nitroglycerin pills? Yes, we're out. We've been trying to get into the pharmacy since we got here. Please try to get in there. Behind the counter where the pills are. It's probably another entrance. Maybe through the office. How do you know that's an office? Uh, educated guess. It doesn't matter. <laughs> we need nitroglycerin pills. Please get in there. I'll keep an eye on my dad. Everyone else should get comfy and look for anything useful. We could be in here a while. I'm starting to think this drugstore isn't a permanent solution. You're right. This ain't exactly Fort Knox. What do you suggest? We need as much gas as possible so we can all get out of downtown Macon. Fast. Agreed. And I'll head out and get gas. There's a motel not too far from here, out towards the end of Peachtree. I'll work Sounds my way like towards a plan. it, and then loop back, siphoning what I can. You're insane. Uh, you're gonna need gas. Well, it's got to get done. Yep, Plus, exactly. Quick, and I know make it. Local. Born and raised. If you're gonna do that, here's a walkie-talkie. If you get in a tight spot, hopefully you won't need it. Cool. Clementine's got the other one. Check in with her and get back here as soon as you can. And you? What's your name? 
It's Lily. My dad's Larry. Keep a good Lily eye on Lily and Larry. These boys will work on getting you your medicine. That's right. And you, you keep an eye on that front door. You're our lookout. It's Doug. Where did this guy come from? It. And I'm Carly. Okay, Carly. Wait. You'll shift in with Doug when he needs it. <laughs> now, get some rest. I swear, I had shot. never seen that guy before like that in this, in this game. It, boss. Or in this gameplay right here. Him those pills. <laughs> he just kind of showed up. Alright. Did Clementine even ever use the bathroom? <laughs> Where is she? Wait. It just said I could click on... Oh, the ATM. Money's not really gonna matter now. Shaving needs... Excuse me. An energy bar. Oh, yeah. Stock up. Oh, yeah. You can give the energy bar to someone. Well, you know who I'm giving it to. Oops. Dang it. Hi. <laughs> I accidentally talked to her. Um... Everything okay? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Uh... Two. Click. What? There you go. Much, but here you go. There you Thank go. Thank you. Of course. Okay, what else do we have here? You can probably find some more... Excuse me. I can't, uh... Can't move very well. Oh. There's another energy bar. Yeah, that's what I was gonna say. So we'll give one to, uh... Give one to Duck. I think Kenny will like that. I mean, not that it matters, really, but... A food box. Looks like nobody got a chance to donate anything before this all went down. <laughs> yeah. All right, where is Duck? There he is. Can't let anything happen to Ducky. No, maybe, no, no. <laughs> maybe punching him wasn't such a good idea. There were worse plans. Says nah. the guy who didn't get punched in the mouth. <laughs> anyway, we, Cat and I, appreciate your support. Thank you, Lee. All right. Um. You guys are right. You I guys guess right? I'll, I'll we're just you. fine, considering. How about you, Duck? We've all been through a lot. What's the plan? Hang tight, I suppose. Seems pretty dangerous out there, so we ought to wait for things to clear up. You said your family was from here in Macon? That's right. Where are they? Should we go looking for them? They, uh, own this place. Sorry. They're gone. Oh, sweetie. Cat. They were good people. I wasn't around much, but yeah, they're dead. Lee, you got a second? Sure. Oh. I wanted Back on Herschel's farm. <sighs> yeah. Was oh, he gonna Did acknowledge the fact that he ditched? That blood is on our hands, you know? I don't know what he's talking yes. about at this point. And I can't stop seeing him. In I tried to go save him. I don't know what happened. We killed that boy. And then Kenny just did. Man, did what we could Kenny started days. running. We didn't make a choice to kill John. You think you do when you look back on it, but in a moment, when things are really out of control, you don't have any choice. I guess. Control. Try to let it go. I think I got that. Okay. Can I give Duck the bar, the candy bar or whatever now? The energy bar? We just need to get back to Fort Lauderdale. There we go. It's not much, but here. For the boy. Oh, thanks, Lee. He appreciates it. That's sweet, Lee. Okay. Um, what do we have now? What's this? Check some photographs. I don't remember them very well. Try to get some rest, hon. How can I with those things out there? What do we do now? I think... Oh, that's right. We're trying to break into the office or whatever. question is, how do we... How do we do that? I don't know. I, frankly... Oh, okay, here we go. Alive inside. Oh, boy. What is that? I can't. I can't. 
can't think about them in here. Oh, yeah, this was their store. That's right. That's how he knew it was an office. Uh, what do we have? I ought to clear a path to open in that door. Yeah, you oughta. Let's move the pallet. Oh. Uh, What's that? This was my dad's cane. He'd zip around here on it from time to time. Was he sick? Nah, he was okay. I actually saw him whoop shoplifters with it. <laughs> this cane's protected this place better than any guard dog ever could. Plus, he knew how to make it look cool. Like you with your hat. My dad gave it to me. See, dad's are smart like that. Okay. Better get this door clear, huh? Can I help? Sure. Here we go. Watch your fingers in the drawers. <clears throat> How are you doing? Yeah, it's not that heavy. How about everything <laughs> outside? It's not good. No, it's not. But I think it'll be okay. Okay, here we go. I didn't realize how deep of a voice Lee had. Do you have kids? No. You don't have a family? What do your parents do? My mom is a doctor, and my dad is an engineer. Those hey. are good jobs. Yeah. What's your job? I, uh, teach history and writing and things like that. Like, um, social studies? <laughs> yeah, like that. You didn't answer my question. <laughs> All right. Dang it. Further. Don't break the fourth wall. <laughs> Why don't you want to talk about your family? Do they, like, hate you? I wouldn't blame them. Why? Did you fight? I fight with my mom sometimes. We didn't fight. We just didn't talk for a while. Look, my family's gone and I just wish things would have been different. Yeah. I got into some trouble and, and I didn't talk to him for a while. This used to be their store. But let's just keep that between you and me, okay? Okay. Because of the trouble? Yeah, that's right. Now, let's get this done. Ow! Uh oh. Uh oh. Are you okay? I hurt my finger. Is it bleeding? A little. I'll find you a bandage. We are in a pharmacy. That's the door to the pharmacy. We should be able to find pills. Hey, I see you over there, first aid kit. Yeah. There's a band aid in there, I bet. Okay. Oh, good. Oh, okay. Well, that worked out. Can I grab it? Thank you. Puts it in his pocket. You only had to walk like two steps, man. Let's have a look at that finger. How? It oh. hurt. Let's see if we can do something about it. Let's get this cut covered up. Yes, please. Lee? Yeah? What if my parents come home and I'm not there? Lee. <laughs> uh -oh. Waited a bit too long for that. Yeah. Okay. We should keep a lookout. I've got my walkie-talkie in case they try that way. 
Stay close to me until then, okay? Okay. It's locked. We need to track down the keys if we're gonna help Larry. Oh boy. Oh. The pants came in here hoping to survive. But it looks like one of them was hurt. I wonder if it was my dad. <laughs> Trying to be a hero, maybe. Or a protector, at least. I'm probably an idiot right now, but... He kept saying they were dead. I, I kind of believed that. I didn't... I don't know. I'm just confused. Anyway, whatever. I'll just keep me being an idiot to myself. <laughs> anyway, where would the, the keys be? They're under here, right? There they are. Oh. Find anything? I know who you are. You're He's Leah a reporter, Evans. right? You're a professor at Athens who killed a state senator who was sleeping with your wife. This is your parents' store. Folks around town know the owner's son got himself a life sentence, but I'm a reporter for WABE in Atlanta. I paid attention to that trial. Maybe you're a murderer, but I don't really care. Frankly, that's a skill that might yeah, come sure. in handy. Yeah, what's up, Matthew? How you doing? <laughs> Did you what's tell up, anyone man? out there who you were or that you were tied to this place? For your sake, I hope the answer is no. I didn't know what to say right there. <laughs> you seem like an okay guy, and the last thing we need is drama out there. You've got this little girl to take care of, and look, don't make me wrong on this. I don't plan to. Good, because if this lasts longer than a few days, and you're a detriment to the group, then we'd have a problem. I hear you. I'll just keep it to myself. No detriment here. Um, thanks. Thanks. I'm pretty good, Matthew. This is a really fun game. I don't know if you played it before. Story driven, really good, great uh, game. Okay, um, I think we're still searching here. I I don't know where it is, frankly. Can I? Can I take some stuff here? Luckily, there's nothing I need in here. Well, you may as well take it. I mean probably help you out later considering it's a first aid kit oh okay can I go back out here to find it well you think they put it in here want to head back into the drugstore with me okay I'm guessing the keys Please? are in here yeah you're not hey bad, thanks Matthew right? I, uh, why are you asking me that that lady said you killed someone was that because he was one of the things trying to eat you Oh, oh, he, um, okay, I gotcha. Uh. It's complicated. Sometimes he killed the guy who was cheating with his wife. I thought he killed his wife. All right. Can't explain them. Let's, uh, head back to the others. I wish they did backstory on that. I really do. Because you can tell he's, he's a pretty nice person, you know. So. I wonder what drove him to do that. Anyway, um, okay, let's get some energy bars. <laughs> It'd be funny if there was an option to just hog all the energy bars and just be like, hey, Clementine, take these, let's run. <laughs> okay, um. Let's ask people if they have the keys or something. Oh, that's right. She's trying to fit it with the radio. What are you messing around with there? A radio. I can't get it to work, though. Here, let me have a look. Not sure if I'll be able hey, to do anything. This is Glenn, and uh, I'm kind of in a jam here. Uh, little girl, if you're there, can you put your daddy on the phone? Or on the talkie, or whatever? <laughs> this is Lee. What's up? So, I'm down at that motor inn, and, well, uh, I'm stuck. Oh, that's oh. right. We have to make a rescue mission. I saw a chance to get some supplies for the group, and a bunch of the Roman ones got the jump on me. I'm hiding over here, but they won't leave. 
What's up? Glenn's trapped down at the motor inn. Hey, Glenn. We're gonna talk it over and send a group to come get you, all right? Rescue awesome. mission. Let's go. Sounds good. I'm gonna hold on to this until we get Glenn back, okay? I'll take good care of it. What do you think? I think Doug's not great around. <laughs> Kenny out of nowhere. You got your family here. I'll take Carly and her dead eye down to the motor inn, get Glenn, and get back here as fast as I can. If that's what you want to do, somebody's got to. Yeah, I'm in. Good. We got a plan. Too bad there right now. Let me know as soon as you want to head out. I could use a jog. Oh, we're at that right now. Better believe it. Actually, I'm gonna give. Can I give Clementine another bar? Nah. All right. I can give one other person a bar. Who do I give it to? I'm gonna give it to this guy just because. Oh, he's not doing well. Can I? That is the bar, right? I think it is. It's not much, but here. You sure? Yeah. You're under quite a bit of stress. Thanks. That's uh really sweet. Don't mention. What show, Matthew? Oh, oh, the, oh, the Walking Dead. Duh. Uh, no, I haven't. Um, it's too gory for me, believe it or not. <laughs> I'm just not a huge fan of gore. I watched the first, like... I think I watched the first episode, and it was just so gory I couldn't watch it. Because sometimes yeah, I like to eat while show. I watch shows, and it's like... Well, I don't want to be seeing, you know, quarter, this stuff. <laughs> one three days out from her last cup of coffee. You seem to handle yourself pretty well. <laughs> really? I'm a disaster. I can't tell. My news editor was eaten about five feet away from me, and I would have joined her if it wasn't for that dorky guy on watch over there. I'm sorry. She was an asshole, but, you know. Yeah. <laughs> you ready to head out? You got it. You? Yeah. Let's go. Let's go. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Oh boy. He's missing an eye. She needs to get a suppressor on that thing. Did you see that? Sure did. Yeah, maybe I will sometime. I know I've I've heard it's a good show. Guys. There he is. here before any of these things notice us not yet there's a survivor trapped up there no way we gotta go now listen i was out here looking for gas and then up there in the corner room i heard crying coming from inside who is it it's a girl we talked and she got frightened i was trying to get in and help her and she started what is he wearing what is that shirt i tried to convince her i wasn't and that's when all these guys came out of the forest a couple almost got me and I ended up hiding in the ice machine. Lucky you. Now let's go. We can't just leave her. Must have been pretty cold, right, though. Kid. You guys are suicidal over a girl. I'm saving her with or without you. Think about if it was you. Uh, yeah, well, trick her. Let's go save yep. Glenn's damsel in distress. We got this. This scene is actually pretty intense. If I recall correctly. Okay, this is the plan. We don't know how hard it's gonna be to get her out of that room. Yeah, it's boarded up. So we have to kill every one of them in here. Quietly. No yeah, that's not gonna help. Now let's have a look around. The girl's behind that door. Go. To be on the scent. Okay. Listen. Okay. Oh, get down. All right. We can probably make it over to the RV or down to the truck if we're quick and quiet about it. We can hide by that pickup. You got this, Lee. Stealth mission. What do we have over here? Go, go, go. Okay. What do we have? Aha! I think I found a pretty damn good way to stop these guys quietly. Yeah, you did. We just have to get it quietly. 
Any ideas? How are you going to kill that one by the car without attracting the others? Okay. There's nothing really that scary in the game. It's just kind of a fun game. It's locked, sure enough. But frankly, Tricker, I wouldn't count on my information if it's really that that um, bad for you. Because I haven't played this game in, like, probably two years. <laughs> Maybe three. Ow. Hey, man. That drew some attention. <laughs> All right, all right, fine. I don't know what we're gonna do here. Let me see. We can do something with that car, I bet. If it weren't for that fellow looking near the front. Oh, he's not dead. Whoops. I thought it he was already dead. All right. Um. I have no idea. Let's head back to that wall. Safe there. Okay, we're heading back. Oh. Alright, my bad. How did he not see us, dude? Alright, why don't we pick up a brick or something and throw it over there? Like, I'm not the only one thinking this, right? Okay, okay. We're good. I don't know, man. There's a pillow over there. A pillow? We're gonna suppress the gun. <laughs> <laughs> you got a pillow. Good job. Give me that pillow. Good luck smothering them to death. That's not really what I have in mind. Uh, what do you have in mind? <laughs> Are we gonna suppress the gun? Or... Well, I don't know what we're gonna do. Okay, what are we gonna do? <laughs> now it can be. No. Okay, okay. Pillow. What are you gonna do with that? I don't really know. Do you have any tricks for getting I don't know either. Not without tools or making a bunch of noise. And none with pillows. <laughs> okay. Can I use the gun? Find a way to kill that guy before he alerts the others, okay? Okay, well we could I don't know. Get out your gun. There you go. Just there you go. Me. Stay right behind me. There you go. That was sick. <laughs> okay. Let's see. Is there anything in? Push the car. What? Why? Why would I push the car? I mean, what can I do in this situation? Is it unlocked? Oh, yeah. Oh, here we go. Spark plug. What are we going to do with the spark plug? Anything else? No, we're out. H how? Yeah, they do. Now, how, how do I get out of this car? Oh, here we go. It's a spark thing. Sparky Sparky thing. <laughs> you should hold on to that. Could come in handy. Could come in handy. Not sure what what. <laughs> yeah, I'm playing the first season. We're on episode one right now. We spark plug the window. Wait. That's gonna make a lot of noise. Let me see the spark plug. inside these things turns car windows to tissue paper. All right, work your magic. Oh. How are they not going over there? I don't understand these zombies, man. Scramble a brain pretty good. That's yep. exactly what I was thinking. Alright. 
Are you going in for this guy? Let's go back over here. I need to buy the second season. I only have the first right now. Okay, do we go? F oh, what if? Okay, okay, okay. Did he see me? <laughs> that was pretty dangerous. Can I sneak over there? Yeah, okay. Now, if I just go up behind this guy, stab him in the back or something, and then leave, I'm good, right? Uh, excuse me, Glenn. Okay, okay. This no. Book is the prime walker killer. I should be able to take those guys out when they come around the corner of the RV. Yep. I'll wait for him to get closer. Good plan, Lee. Good plan. Boom. Oh, headshot. Uh, with a screwdriver. Plank. Oh. Nice. Thanks for having my back. For sure. Good job, Glenn. That's his name. Okay. I still don't understand why we're pushing the car. Anyway, are we good here? All right, Matthew. I, I'm good here. I can. All right, we'll push the car. Great. I guess we're safe to do that now, right? There we go. Okay. I see. Awesome. Power play. Now grab the axe, man. <laughs> grab the axe. Grab it. Grab the axe. There you go. Whoa. All right, we got to take care of this guy first. Sorry, buddy. Oh. All right, we're swapping our weapon Dude, here. Where'd your weapon go? <laughs> Holy shit. Yeah, you were standing here, but the, the whole time, you know, but okay. Alright. There you go. Lee's being sneaky. Can I go up here? There you go. Why don't you guys lag behind just in case this goes to hell? Okay, we'll be right behind you. All right, come on, Lee. <laughs> and chop, chop, I'm chopping, I'm chopping. There we go. Taken out and taken out. Boom. Man. What time is it? Uh, 4.30? For me? Hello in there. We're here to help. Please just go away. Let's go, guys. In a minute. If you open up, we can take you somewhere safer. We've got a group in town. No, no, no. Please. She's in trouble. No. Miss, we're coming in. Uh-oh. Oh boy. No, you have an axe, dude. You might want to break through that board first. Yeah. There you go. There you go. Stop, just stop. I'm coming out. Oh boy. Was she bitten? Oh god. I I said uh, stay away. We need okay. to get you help. It's too late for that. Guys, she's been bitten. What? Yeah. I told you, I said go away. I'm bit. But you yeah, this is a long stream, me. Diamond. Calm down. You could be fine. I won't be fine. My boyfriend was bitten. You get sick and you die and, and you come back and you kill anything you I'm from find. America, purple guy. You have a boyfriend? When? I don't <laughs> want that. It's not Christian. Please. Just leave me, please go. Um. 
Okay, we'll leave. You gotta respect your choice, man. Try to take care of yourself for whatever time you I know, Tricker, right? This guy's gotta, you gotta get better at their job. So can I borrow it? What do you mean borrow? Yeah. Give it to me. I can just you know, end this and then and then there's no problem. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Please! I don't want to be one of them. They're they're satanic. I'm sitting this one out. <laughs> Please! This is crazy. Please, step back. It's just two seconds, just one bullet, and I can be with my family, and it'll all be fine. Miss. Back up. Please! That doesn't happen yet, Diamond. <laughs> oh. Uh-oh. Race for the gun. Go, go, go. Uh oh. Whoa, take it easy. We just want to help. You can't. Miss, just relax now. Oh boy, do I have to say you something? You need to think this through. Oh god. We'll find you a doctor. It'll be okay. No, I don't. Let's all just. No, no, no. Yeah. Okay. I hear a zombie. I don't know, Diamond. I haven't played this game in like three years. Let's get out of here. Yeah. Shit. Oh, that's right. She shot herself. The noise. Man, I wish we could take that RV. Alright, we're taking... Yo, it's a pizza vehicle. It's a pizza vehicle, man. Glenn is fine. Well, yeah. We're okay. I've got a few cans of gas for your pickup in the trunk of my car. Good to hear it. And things back here? Quiet. Our friend is still in and out over there. He won't survive any more stress. The next order of business is getting those pills out of the pharmacy. Okay, let's get to work on that. Okay, where was the office? I think... Oh, yeah, it's over here. Whoops. We're in a circle. Let me talk to, uh, what's his name? I keep forgetting his name. How you doing, man? Glenn. Okay. You know. You know. What's his story, Glenn? What's your story, Glenn? I deliver pizzas around here. I brought a couple to the Was that his car? Place. Sorry. <laughs> I mean, the folks that own this place. Just really good people. It sucks seeing this place like this. Isn't that the truth? Aw. What's your next move? I don't know. I mean, you guys seem okay. What about your family? Yeah, I... I... Forget it, man. That's your business. I hate feeling like I can't do anything. I know the feeling, man. Yeah, it's pretty late. Um... Yeah, some places. Alright. Try to get some rest. Yeah, the time time zones are crazy, yeah, man. Right. They suck. <laughs> like you can never please anybody with the stream. There will always be somebody somewhere that can't watch. How's Clementine doing? How's your finger, Clem? Good. It doesn't hurt so much anymore. Good. Wait, what? What is this for? Again? There you go. You guy, okay? Okay. Same. You're my guy. Oh, no. <laughs> you know. We're gonna try to. Take <laughs> yes, deal. That's one of my favorite things. The dialogue is really good in this game. I love it. Uh, I, I kind of just said that, time. so I'm not gonna repeat myself. Okay. You checked on Clementine. Okay, I'm glad I did that. I didn't know that was a thing. Yeah. Okay, we gotta get him his heart pills. Wait, was that the office? Yeah, here it is. Yeah, it's kind of messed up, but I don't know. I mean, this whole game is messed up. Yeah. Uh, right, we have an axe now. Well, that works out, uh, even though you can't understand what I'm saying right now, purple guy. Keys it is, I guess. All right, no axe for us. Let's find those keys. We already searched this drawer. To my dad's TV. 
We can watch some TV. <laughs> Breaking news, the keys are in that cabinet. <laughs> That's what I figured. No TV. It'd be funny if the TV was still working and there's some channel like having a 24 hour broadcast of zombie movies. <laughs> Alright, um. I still have no idea where these keys are, dude. My parents came in here hoping to survive. But it looks like one of them was hurt. I wonder if it was my dad. <laughs> Trying to be a hero, maybe. Or a protector, at least. <laughs> yeah, so did I, Diamond. <laughs> Okay, what do I do here? Hey, Diamond, how much time you got tonight? You gonna be able to play it all? Anyway, I'm going to, um... I'm gonna check once more over here. I don't think there's anything, though. There's nothing. I'm gonna go into the other room and find the keys. I think. I don't know. I don't know where the keys are. I mean, I already looked everywhere. Diamond, where are the keys? Do you know? Okay. Uh, up, I may stay up late for you to play, but... Okay, what do I do? I know you're supposed to fix this thing. It's still not working. Or at least you can. Yeah, I can't figure it out. Let me have a look at that thing. Didn't I have Go a look ahead. at it earlier? What happened? <laughs> Nothing. Dang. <laughs> there are no batteries in this thing. There's okay. your problem. Do you know that there are no batteries in that thing? Yeah, of course. I mean, yeah. <laughs> she didn't check for the batteries. Oh, dude, that's funny. I wouldn't even really know what to look for. Carly's stupid? I mean, she seems pretty smart to me. That, okay, the battery thing, yeah. Uh, that's a little peculiar, but other than that, I mean, she seems pretty smart. Uh, I don't really want to talk to Glenn. Clementine, where are the keys? Have you seen them? Oh, God. that's right. You can't go that way for whatever reason. Oh, you need to find batteries? Okay. Well, we can get some shades. Yo, I wish you could put on one of those shades. This one right here that my cursor is on. <laughs> I need to put on the shades, dude. Lee would look even more badass than he already does. <laughs> no, I'm sorry to hear your loved one was eaten by the living dead cards. They need to start mass producing those ones, man. Alright, what's the plan? Kenny, where are the keys? It's all melted now. Dang, I wanted some ice cream. Okay. Need to find batteries. Well, now that I know we need batteries, maybe I'll find some in here. Is Clementine going to come with us again? Yeah, she seems to come with us every time we go in here. Oh, there we go. Alright, batteries, batteries. Where are you? Oh, I can take some out of the remote. Yeah, I will, Diamond. Can I take them out of the remote? I have the remote on me, don't I? Yeah. Can I just take batteries out of the remote? <laughs> Why can't I just take the batteries out of the remote? I don't know. Okay, we're going back, Clem. I don't I don't know where this stuff is. I don't know why I can't take the batteries just out of the remote. That would be the logical thing to do, but I can't do that for some reason. Do you have any batteries? Oh wait, can I ask her for batteries? How's he doing? I'm not sure I got your name. It's Lee. Lily. My dad's Larry. Lee, Lily, and Larry. <laughs> I was just doing what I had to earlier. Everyone was. He didn't have to call me a bitch in front of my people. <laughs> I don't need that shit, alright? It's hard enough to be in charge of people's lives without some dick cutting you down. Well, I mean, no, we're, tr we're trying to survive here, you know? You're trying to survive. We're in the same boat here. Um, what's wrong? Oh, we know 
You're from here, yeah, from I guess? Here. I work at Warner Robins, the Air Force base. Oh, yeah, she's the Air Force person. That's right. Carly's a detective. Or the um, reporter, I mean. I deal with a bunch of shitheads and bureaucrats all day. Sometimes a plane, if I'm lucky. You? I work up at UTA. Um. Oops. Was anyone here when you guys got here? No, this place was pretty wrecked. We pulled a couple of bodies out of the office. Oh. Are you okay? Yeah, I know. She's in the final season. Fine. It's crazy. Did you know anybody here? Yeah. The owners, they were, uh, we were close. I'm sorry. We found an older couple in the office. Dad hauled them out in case they weren't really dead. Aww. What do you think about all this? What is there to think? The dead are up, walking around, eating people, and turning them into more... more of them. Mm -hmm. I mean, Jesus. We need to stick together and get through this. What's wrong with him? He's got a heart condition. He takes nitroglycerin tablets pretty regularly. I've seen a few bad attacks that he couldn't get over and needed to go to the hospital. Yeah, that's uh, not really an option right now. I'm just trying to keep <laughs> him relaxed. Oh, boy. He's got a temper. Ah, oh, fuck you. <laughs> yeah, okay. He doesn't mean it. <laughs> that... Yeah. I don't know, man. He's not a good guy. He's being really mean, but I don't know what to say. Never mind. I'm sure he's a good. We'll guy. suck up to her he just is. in case she has he batteries. Just has his issues. Yeah, batteries. Where's her mom? Savannah, I think. Oh, you guys aren't together. <laughs> no, I'm not her dad. I found in a house when getting out of Atlanta. She'd been surviving by herself. I think the girl's parents didn't make it. Oh. I heard an answering message. They were in Savannah. She was home with a sitter. It wasn't good. Well. She's lucky to have you. I'm gonna get back to him now. Alright, um... I thought she gave us batteries, so... That whole, um, conversation was for nothing. Alright, Duck, do you have batteries? Oh, I can talk to all of them. Okay. How are we doing? Okay. How's Duck doing? He's okay. It was just a shock. We're lucky as hell nobody got nabbed on the way in here. No kidding. How is she doing? Um... I don't think she's doing well at all. Well, the family's dead, so... That's awful, Lee. Yeah, well... She seems to be handling herself all right. She's just a little girl, Ken. Lee says she spent days on her own. That takes toughness. But you have no idea what sort of emotional damage is happening to her every second her family is gone. Yep, Better very get true. Getting this guy's medicine. Hmm. Take your time. <laughs> Can he? All right, so you guys don't have batteries. All right, all right, fine. Who has batteries? Yeah, dude, Kenny ran for the hills, man. I for, I totally forgot about that scene. Or I forgot what Kenny did during that scene. Anyway, I mean, he just flew out of there. He was like, nope. Let's talk to Doug. Heard or seen anything? Nothing, luckily. Want to step outside, have a look around? <laughs> I'm not suicidal yet. No, the not yet. Up there is closed. We can hang out in front of the store and be fine. Oh, look at his little shirt. That's so cute. Oh, look at that little guy. That's so cute. <laughs> Let's have a look. Sure. Let's go have a look around. Cool. And we'll keep it down. Don't need to bring. Dude, it looks like a little polar else. bear with antlers. That's adorable. <laughs> Neum. Yeah, seriously though. I mean, he, he ran, dude. Oof. He just eat. As far as I can tell, that's all they care about. And if one gets you, they eat you. And whatever's left comes back as one of them. 
How the fuck? I think it might be more than a couple days before all this gets sorted out. You think? I think so too. We better keep it down out of here. Okay. Batteries. This is an Outlast diamond. Think you can do anything with this? <laughs> you know what I could do? What's that? If he just presses a button, I could program it to work with those TVs. Program it. Just hope the power is still on. How are Should you programming it? Do Down, up. He's just pressing one through nine. Let's try. Don't you have to have the TV on to do that in the first place? Well fucking done, Doug. All that dark nonsense might save a life. Who's to say it already hasn't? The zombies like TV. I got a few of them to take notice. A few of them. But not enough. Not enough. Oh, gotcha. Okay, um... What do we do here? Let me see. That guy over there has the keys. How can you be oh. sure? I found this yeah, I, I don't know, Matthew. <laughs> that boy in the photo worked here. The keys being on him is as good a bet as we can make. Yeah, I agree. Just need to figure out how to get out there and get them. Yeah. You wouldn't need long, right? Nah, just a few seconds. Yeah. Gotta distract all of them first. Buy you some time. There you go. Those TVs are on, and I'm sure they're making a lot of noise behind that glass. Oh. We gotta find a rock. Is there a rock? A brick. Can't reach that brick. Open it then. It's a combination lock. Yeah, well I think I know who has the combination lock. Those things like TV, yeah they do. Those things like TV. Or at least the sound of it. If they were louder, we might be able to clear the street. Yeah, well, uh, you still have that remote. Okay, can I get the brick though, for real? Take an axe to the lock. That would not go well. Okay, look. I need to get that brick. It's doing what locks do. Duck. You want to get this door open? Okay, there we go. About that. You've got oh. the combo, right? No. <laughs> Did anyone ever have it? Look, man, there were a lot of those things trying to get in here. And now we can't get back out onto this. A drive is in the false skirmish. Oh, that's funny. Actually, I know he does play Fortnite, though. But he's gonna find a uh, a shiny player. <laughs> Okay, what what did he say? Somebody else has it. Oh, that's right. Do we? Let's head back we have to go talk to um, what's her name? The L, the L name. God, what was her name? It was Larry Lily. That's right. Okay, so we have to go talk to her. I think I wasn't paying attention during that scene. Okay, apparently I went the wrong way again. Do, do I have to talk to her? I'm gonna get back to him now. Okay. No. No, I don't. She totally shut me down, dude. What do I have to do here? I don't. I don't know. Do I have to find the code? All right, Doug. We're going back out because apparently I missed something. Doing? Good. Want to go have a look around outside? We were just out there, dude. Let's have a look around. Okay. It's a combination lock. Take an axe to it. Oh, shoot, that worked? Distract <laughs> those things. Okay. Carefully. Yeah, well, you know what we're going to Yes, you can. Open the thing, dude. Seriously? All right. <laughs> 
Yeah, I know, Diamond, but I thought I needed to get the code. And I thought Lily had it. Dude, that brick flew up into his hand. Alright. Throwing a brick at the glass. Leave the quarterback. Oh, it's a 95-yard touchdown. That's right. Go watch your TV, guys. Let's go. Right. Yes. If he has the keys. Mm hmm Be careful. Keep an eye Dude, I love his little sweater thingy. I mean that is so cute. like that. Poor guy. I'm sorry, man. I'm sorry I wasn't here. But knowing you were to take care of what I want. That helped. Rough man. He just will not die. Oof. Yeah, that's uh, that's how you do it. Achievement unlocked. Hey, bud. There you go. Run! Why is he shouting, dude? That's just gonna, yeah, it's just gonna attract more attention. <laughs> there you go. Thank God they can't run very well. Man, that was close. But we did it. It's all that matters. Got the keys. Great. God, you're amazing. Let's get in there. Let's do it. Search the shelves in the floor of the office, That's right? The door to the pharmacy. <laughs> I should be able to find pills for Larry in there. Yeah. All right, I'll check for the batteries. You said the floor. Oh no. oh no. We gotta hurry. Bright light. <laughs> you got a little something in your back there. Uh, yeah. That catch. Shit. You three, get on it. I'll get back as fast as I can. 
Stay away from the windows. What am I doing? Okay. <laughs> hey Lee, if we don't make it through this, you should know that I think you're a great guy. We will make it through this. Doug, if we don't make it through this, you should know. <laughs> ah, press. I should know what? Huh? You said I should know. <laughs> oh, Are you sure? Oh, shit. What? Oh, shit. Oh. Okay, then. Dang it. I like both of these characters so much. Okay. Go, click. There you go. Did you find anything? Nothing. Wait. The window is through. Go. Oh boy. I found something. Oh boy, here it is. Who do I choose, guys? In the end, it doesn't really matter. Doug was so nice to me. Carly would be a good asset to the team. I, it's such a hard choice. Uh, I think I've only played where I saved Carly, so I'm gonna save Doug. <laughs> no! <laughs> So messed up, man. They got Carly. That's the thing about. Oh boy. Get away from her. Go, go, go. Unbelievable. Kenny saves the day. Thank you, Kenny. Aww. Oh, you. We going back in the motel? Got a body pile here, man. Oh, that's right. I remember this. Okay. Dude, yeah, Ace Pizza. <laughs> I forgot how sad this game is. Oh boy. Hey, go ahead. With uncountable severe emergencies in all counties, Georgia's cities and their current level of disaster are as follows Atlanta, stage 9 catastrophe. Augusta, stage 8. I think I need to go. To Atlanta. Yeah, I got friends there, and I just can't stay here knowing that they could be trapped in that city. Sounds like nobody knows what's happening there. When we left a few days ago, could have gone either way. I gotta take my chances. Find your friends. Be safe. Thanks, Lee. That means a lot. I don't mean to abandon you all, but this seems like an okay setup. And I'm sure things will be back to normal around here in no time. Let's hope. You guys be safe. We'll try. Hmm. 
The transition? What do you mean? Well, I expected this to be an hour and a half. I am at uh, an hour and 52 minutes, so. Yeah, <laughs> shit happens. Nice license plate, man. <laughs> Hey, kid. Close call back there. Thanks for picking me up. No problem. Oh. We have to take care of each other. Yeah, we do. You said you wanted kids once. Uh, I did, yeah. Well, she's not your daughter, so you can't treat her like she is. Yeah, I know that. But you can take care of her. Hell, maybe better than a father even could. Thanks, Kenny. I got your back, pal. All right. <laughs> um. Okay, wait. Where? Oh, I gotta talk to Doug. Okay. How you doing, Doug? Doug. Uh oh. We couldn't save her, could we? I don't think so. Oh boy. Not this I, again. I know it's stupid. We just met. It's dumb. But, uh, I mean, it's, it's probably just. I can't get over his sweater, dude. I really liked her. It's so cute. Uh. Oh, sorry, Doug. It's okay. Thanks, though. Anyway, I'd rather be alone, I think. I understand. Wait, Lee? What is it, buddy? How did you choose? I mean, we both needed you. You picked me. Oh God. Um. Uh. Uh. I, just, I guess it doesn't matter. I didn't know I what to say. Picked her. Yeah. Well, she would have said the same thing. So. No winning in that situation. All right. Time to talk to a duck and Clem here. She she is not interested in this conversation. I gotta get rid of that diamond. I don't know why it's like that. No, it's not that. It's I got grabbed again. I was there though. I fell and my walkie talkie broke. Glenn had the other one. Aww. Oh, I'm sorry. Thanks. I know I need to be tough. I'm just sad. I know it doesn't make any sense, but it's how I used to talk to my mom and dad. And now they're gone. It's gone. Maybe we can find you another one. I'll just keep this one, I guess. Lee, come here for a second. I don't want to talk to you. Go deal with this. <laughs> oh man, Clementine, another thing. What do you want? You like my daughter? <laughs> Her dad tried to kill me, so... Well, he did that because he knows that Lee Everett is a convicted murderer. And so will everyone else if you go near her. <laughs> you would have been a murderer, too. <laughs> I know who you are. And I don't give a shit about what happens to you. But if anything happens to my daughter or that little girl you've got with you, <laughs> you watch your ass. Lee uh, kind of risked his life hey, for you, buddy. Lee, do you have a second? <laughs> I feel like you owe him a little bit more respect uh, than you're giving off, but maybe that's just me. My dad would be dead if it weren't for you. That like I just said. <laughs> because of me. You can't be like that. You're only one man. I don't know. We're lucky to have you. I hope that's the sound of us winning this thing. Me too. This motor end's pretty damn defendable. We block off the entrances with some cars, keep someone on watch. We could stay here until the military rolls through. I actually agree with that plan. Me too. We got beds, we got water, and most importantly, we got light. Yeah, and the food, worst places yeah. to call home. Yeah, you're right. You know, guys, I think it's going to be okay. It's going to be okay. 
<laughs> no light. Wow, yeah, you showed up right at the end of the episode. Yeah, I love this game too. It's one of my favorites. Such a great game. Oh, the character development is just ridiculously good. I thought we'd be fine if we survived the walkers. Never expected they'd starve us out. You look like crap, Lee. When was the last time you ate? Keep it. Hey, I owe you a lot more than a half-eaten candy bar. How you doing, Clementine? I'm really hungry, Lee. We gotta get food, Lee. Soon. Oh boy. Howdy. I'm Andrew St. John. We're from oh, the here we John go. Dairy. The dairy. I never did thank you for saving Duck from the walkers back at Herschel's farm. Something's coming, Lee. There's gonna be a war. The walkers don't worry me as much as the bandits. A season one yet? Yeah. Yes, Ben! He's like one of my favorite characters. Was that his name? Is it Ben? I think it is. My favorite character? Oh my gosh. Either, um, either Clementine or... Who's the new girl for season four with the, the white hair? Violet. Violet's also one of my favorite characters. Probably my second favorite. I like Kenny as well. He's loyal, but... Dude, yeah, Ben is a legend. <laughs> Alright. Even 36% of players lied, okay. Um, even 49% uh, chose Duck, 48 defended Kenny, gave Irene the gun. Even 55% of players refused the gun. 23% of the players chose Doug, wow, I'm surprised by that. Uh, not really though, she was obviously the better person to keep alive, but I wanted to see how the story with Doug would play out. Like, I don't remember. Wow, guys. Well, uh, thanks for showing up to the stream, guys. That was episode one. We got uh, four through, or uh, two through five coming on uh, in the next four days. And uh, yeah, that'll be great. So again, thanks for coming out to the stream. Uh, if you want to watch more Walking Dead, we got it coming up. And uh, yeah, I'll see you later. Bye.